finally, we're gonna be explaining how this video OcuSync transmission module video system f my sister. Finally, we're gonna explain how this video. Hello guys and welcome to a new We Talk UA video. Today, finally, we're explaining how this OcuSync video transmission module works and all the different parts together with the DJI Goggles RE. No more talking, let's go inside. <laughs> Well, let's get into business. So the OcuSync video transmission module um, is created and consists of three different main parts and let's talk about them. Uh, first, the camera. It's just a normal kind of small camera and it has a normal cable <clears throat> which you afterwards connect into the our air unit. This air unit consists of two antennas which generally on the planes you put them like this so that no matter which side the plane is uh, flying it will always have an antenna uh, pointing to the sky and it has a micro SD port for internal um, recording of all the footage you're taking and of course <clears throat> it has a port to uh, this cable where you can actually power this air unit. It is not too heavy, we'll talk about the weight later. And finally, the third part is this antenna. DJI actually sells the um, RE goggles with three different antennas. Right now we only have this one, it's the Pagoda. Um, you can check out on their website the other two ones. Uh, this Pagoda antenna works best at 5.8 gigahertz. And this is actually the one we've been using and it's pretty awesome, it's working pretty good. So let's talk about the weight because this may be really important to you guys, especially if you're drone racers and um, you care a lot about the weight. The air unit does weigh 43.7 grams. The camera, including this cable, weighs 18.2 grams. And finally, uh, this antenna, uh, in this case the Pagoda antenna, does weigh 9.4 grams. So the total you're actually putting on your drone, let's not talk about the antenna now, only about the camera and the air unit, you're quite a few grams, over 60 grams in total. So of course um, this may not be a lot if you're flying like a two kilogram or three pound uh, RC plane or a bigger copter, but if you're in racing drones and you want this HD transmission, you know, you have to think about this and you have to know if those 60 plus grams are too heavy for your drone. Just to know that. Well guys, let's first get into detail about the camera. And uh, now that you can see it more in detail, uh, let's talk about the sensor. The sensor is a one third CMOS sensor with a uh, 1.2 effective megapixels. The lens is a 2.65 millimeter with an aperture of f2.0. The shutter is a global shutter and the ISO works from 100 to 3200. And the field of view, which is really important for you guys and also for us, of course, it's 148 degrees. Now let's talk a little bit about the air unit, get a little bit more into detail and let's start with the communication frequency. As I've been already telling you, it works on 2.4 and 5.8 gigahertz. Also very interesting are the live view modes and the minimum latency and a at a live view of 960p50, you have a latency of 70 milliseconds. On a 720p60p, you have 60 milliseconds, and on 480p50, a minimum latency of 50 milliseconds, which is pretty sick. The recommended frequency band is, of course, the 5.8 gigahertz and CE 2.4 gigahertz. And getting uh, into the different ports that we can find here, we have this uh, micro SD port, which actually is capable of uh, recording what you are seeing on the goggles and it does record in a MP4 video format. Also, the input power, which comes through this kind of cable, um, is from 9 to 16.8 volts and a battery of 3S4S. The operating temperature range, it does work from 32 degrees to 104 Fahrenheit or 0 to 40 Celsius. So now let's answer some of the questions that you may have 
and they are really important to know. Um, can I connect this air unit with a non-DJI camera? The answer is no, you can't. And also the other way around, can I connect this camera to another transmitter or another system? And the answer is no. Now one of the questions that you may also have is, does this OcuSync video system support non-DJI antennas? And the answer is, in this case, yes. Um, this is interesting because here DJI says, but there may be some problems that may arise when using that. So it's on your own risk, but it does work with other antennas, which is really interesting. Also to know the batteries that this air unit supports and it does support 3S and 4S uh, batteries. Also one of the ports that are really interesting on their air unit is this micro USB port that you probably have already seen. And this is for updating the firmware of this air unit. So this will be also interesting to see, of course, what DJI does with the firmware of this. And you'll need that and you'll need to update it there. For some of you, in case that this is too heavy, those 43 grams are too heavy, um, some of you were asking if you can actually remove this hard uh, shell. And DJI says, no, you really can't because this is made for fix, uh, for cooling and some other issues. So it has to stay like this. Just to mention that when we were using this, it at one point it got really, really hot. So um, it probably should leave that. So the last question on this air unit is how many frequencies does this air unit support? And the answer is 105 channels on 5.8 gigahertz and up to 63 different channels on 2.4 gigahertz. This is all under auto mode. Under the manual mode, you can actually find up to 12 uh, different frequencies on 5.8 gigahertz and seven on 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, one last question on the camera that we just had here with Chibo um, is actually, can I use the camera can you use this camera to use um, to make to take photos? And the answer is no. But what DJI says that you can do is take screenshots on your phone to take photos out of the video. So uh, just a couple of answers on the antennas, uh, whether you can bend two antennas, for example, uh, the answer is of course, no. And if you can remove the silicone, uh, thing here? The answer is of course also no. And um, whether you can use uh, other antennas than the DJI official uh, with the DJI RE goggles, DJI says depending on the country there are some laws that won't allow you to do that. So just use this one forever and always. We wanted to make clear for what um, the air unit in this video, this AcuSync video transmission model is for because you know it does have some weight it is not too small and it you need a pagoda antenna and you need the dji goggles re so what is this transmission module made for if you like having rc cars rc planes rc copters this is going to change your life i'm pretty sure because you're going to be able to see with super few latency live hd transmission from your plane, from your car or whatever you have that you control with RC. This is a major change uh, in terms of what you've been using until now. The output is actually so great. We've been flying now for many days, uh, also with the plane and some other uh, UAVs and the experience is amazing. It's really something that we never saw. But you have to bear in mind that you probably won't be using this for professional racing. I mean, if you want to go to the mountain with your son or with your brother and have some fun, you can put this onto your FPV drone and you, you'll have the fun. You'll watch, a, you'll have an, ama an amazing immersive experience and it will be great. But of course, if you have a drone which weighs 100 grams, 150 grams, this is gonna almost double your weight. So you have to think about that too. Just also to mention that uh, we're not much into FPV racing and some of those things we have to experience for ourselves first. Um, this DJI OQ Sync video transmission module does not come with a battery. So um, it's supposed that when you are flying your drones and you have those 3S, 4S batteries, you're gonna be using one for this one. Just 
you have to know this because otherwise you will be there without any battery and you won't be able to be using this. And now let's show you how you actually connect everything. Um, the first thing you have to do of course is connect the camera into the air unit and this is pretty easy. And of course also connect this antenna on top of the DJI goggles which is a very simple system. And also uh, on this cable here um, you're gonna be using the red and the black cable. We don't really know what actually those cables are made for. So if you know this, please tell us probably something about the video and the audio, but we're not sure. So we'd love to have some help uh, on this one. And all you have to do is connect or tape or whatever you wanna do this onto your plane or car or whatever, and go inside the goggles and let's, let's take a look how it looks inside. Well, yeah, you can see there has been an amazing new intro and um, the menu itself looks pretty much like the old one, but there's something important that you have to know because we spent a lot of time here and for connecting the uh, transmission, the OcuSync in this case to the Goggles RE, you're not supposed to be linking it as you were doing it um, <clears throat> for example, to another drone uh, before, because that was on the menu, settings menu. You got into settings and here we had the uh, linking settings and you could either quick link or advanced linking in case you had more than one goggle. We spent lots of times here being not very smart. Um, if we would have read the manual, this would not have happened. So let's go back here, uh, click on cancel. So once we're on the main menu again, all we have to do is use two fingers and swipe down on the touchpad and we'll enter this menu here. Um, as you can see, there are some full screen and panning uh, options that we already had on the white goggles. But on these goggles, we have two extra things, which are this analog and digital uh, transmission. And in case you want to use the OcuSync, you have to click on the digital one. Well guys, thanks a lot for watching this video. We really hope that it was helpful. And if you have any further questions, just let us know in the comments. Uh, leave a like. Um, uh, we thought that this was helpful and so that you guys can see a little bit how everything works um, from our own experience. And just to sum up, uh, you have to know what this OcuSync system is for what the goggles are for and if you know that and if you accept that and if you can be using that it will be an awesome purchase for you nothing else to say guys always remember to keep calm and talk uav